100 of the best sci-fi movies as laid down by me, man, your boy C, the host of most of the stuff right here on Paprika, man. Uh, we're just talking about sci-fi movies, man, 100 of them. Well, I think of the 100 best, man. Uh, and ranked them, I ranked them, and stacked them from 100 to 1. We're talking one a day for the first 100 days of 2022. Most of you have had issues with my list. <laughs> Yesterday, we talked about number 24 on the list, District 9, man. Just a batshit crazy third act all throughout that movie, but I love it. Like I said on that show, it is one of the most realistic depictions of humans in science fiction. If you have not taken the time to watch District 9, I implore you to go on that ride. I remember I had to drive like 45 minutes to a theater to check that out, man. And I'm so glad that I did. It's such that's, that's one of those movies I was telling as many people as we listen. You need to go check out District 9. But today, today is number 23 on the list. One of these stone cold classics of science fiction man it's back to the future he's the only kid to ever get into trouble before he was born a plus a plus on that one man that that'll pique your interest real quick 80s teenager marty mcfly is accidentally sent back in time to 1955 inadvertently disrupting his parents first meeting and attracting his mother's romantic interests Marty must repair the damage to history by rekindling his parents' romance and, with the help of his eccentric inventor friend, Doc Brown, return to 1985. This is one of those joints, man, if the year 1985 or 1955 is mentioned, Back to the Future is the first thing that comes to my head. 1885 as well. Back to the Future is one of the first things that's going to come to my head if you give me one of those years for any part of conversation. Um, put Michael J. No, it didn't put Michael J. Fox on the map. Family Ties did that. It established the star of Michael J. Fox, the grueling shoot of doing Family Ties at day and then taking a nap and then doing Back to the Future and then taking a nap and then doing Family Ties and then taking a nap and doing Back to the Future. You know, the Stoltz situation, he was not right for the movie. Obviously, it should have been Michael J. Fox all along. His chemistry with Christopher Lloyd is unmatched. Unmatched. They are two of the best on film i think they they just have a great back and forth between the two of them the the way their conversations flow and pace and doc not understanding the slang that marty likes to use it's all so well written so well acted so well directed by our boy bob zemeckis it is an amazing fucking movie um this is a movie of plants and payoffs. That's all this movie is. Every plant in this movie in the first half has a payoff in the second half. Talking about we know how you and dad met at the fish under the sea dance. No, it was the enchantment under the sea dance. And, you know, that's where we first had our kiss and fell in love. And grandpa hit him with the car. And all these, what you think is just kind of world building? No, it all plays a part in how things progress from there. And this movie even has the plants and the payoffs for future movies down the road, man. Uh, there's a lot that's happening in this movie. This is one of the most excellently written scripts of all time, man. This this is within my top 10 scripts. Uh, I think this movie is absolutely incredibly genius in how it portrays time travel, man. Its rules are so well known and firmly established like that's how people treat time travel now it comes up in avengers endgame uh because ant-man lets us know that back to the future was bullshit <laughs> because they chose to do uh you know they went with their own different you know rules for time travel the everything in this movie works everything is congruent with everything else i dare say that there is not a whole lot of weak points of this movie. I think Leah Thompson is great as Martin McFly's mom. I think Crispin Glover is at his least weird <laughs> as as George McFly in this movie, man. Well, uh, William F. Thompson, I think is his name, as Biff Tannen. Everything to love about this movie is is there. And it sets a blueprint to make a wonderful franchise, which is what Back to the Future became. I absolutely adore this movie. This is one of the most fun movies on this list is one of the i think one of the good go-to sick movies or hungover movies you can just lay on the couch and watch this chuckle at the jokes you know are already coming you can tap your toe when he's playing johnny be good there man um 
the the washing away of Marty's self doubt throughout the movie of you know the with the battle the whole battle of bands and Huey Newton you guys are just too darn loud and then getting a chance to just rock the house uh, at the enchantment under the sea dance it's it's so so much great happening in this movie man um, go back and revisit Bad to the Future it's been a while man do yourself all the favors I guarantee you you will still have a fun time doing so and that is it for number twenty three on this list man we'll be back in twenty four hours talking more sci-fi right here on Paprika. <laughs>